Okay, so today we are going to make this lemon pound cake. All right. So this is a buttermilk pound cake with actually lemon in it. Um, we do not have lemon extract, so we're going to rig it with just lemon juice today. So we'll try doing that. So these ingredients, we have them all out. So again, when we do our ingredients and have them out ahead of time, it's called Reason Plus. All right. So, and we kind of got all our tools out. We have our ingredients and I actually kind of set things up in order, hopefully that we can just go through this fluently without looking around for everything. So anyway, the first thing is the butter and the sugar. It does call for um, one and a half cups of butter softened. So if it's softened, what I like to do is bring the butter out a little ahead of time because if it's out ahead of time, it's out of the refrigerator and it's gonna soften up a little easier. Um, of course, you might wanna go a half hour to an hour ahead of time because it's in the refrigerator. But another thing you could do is once you bring it out, you could cut it in chunks and that helps it uh, soften up better in a mixer. So the one and a half cups of butter, I don't know if you guys remember, but how much uh, is a cup of butter, first of all? One fourth. No. Oh, no. Four. Well, four ounces would be a half a cup. So I need one and a half cups. Oh, two, two. So two four. is a cup, right? Because yeah. two is eight ounces, and then I need a half cup. So that's why I have three sticks out here today. Mm -hmm. All right. Twelve. Yes. Twelve. No, oh, we're fine. We well, yeah, you're right. Four, four times three is twelve. Yes. So you can do it that way too. Twelve ounces. Very good. All right. So we're gonna open up our butter, and like I said, for it to soften easier, we're just gonna cut it into chunks first. All right. Mm -hmm. And all I do is I take my paring knife, and then you guys can see, and we're just gonna cut it in chunks. And it doesn't matter what size, you don't have to cut it real small, and you don't have to cut it like huge either. So we're just gonna put it in right all together. And there's one. All right. I should have opened up the paper ahead of time. That would, save, that would assistant. have saved me time. I was going to ask if you need an assistant. <laughs> and there are two. And we got one more and we'll have our one and a half cups of butter. And then what I'm going to do is start creaming that butter. So when we get into making cookies, you guys are going to be familiar with creaming because we're doing it quite often here. Everything's better with butter. Exactly. And we can actually, sometimes I actually use one of these for leftover for our spatula. If we're um, scraping down the bowl and we don't want to make a mess on the table, I have another purpose for this. And it's buttered so it doesn't stick. How about that one? That's a good one. Anyway, we're going to put this down and we're going to mix it on, I'd say, medium speed. That going. Now, while that's going, we're going to measure our sugar because that's going to be the next ingredient. Sugar is one and a half Sugar. cups. So, yes, please. We're gonna do one cup. Level it off. Put it in our bowl. Eight and a half cups. Remember that song, Todd? And that is the sugar. That's a lot back. of sugar. Sometimes the reason I speed it up is because it sticks on that paddle beater sometimes and if you speed it up sometimes it'll not get knocked off of that it'll shoot off of there um, but not all the time so we do have to scrape this off get this out of here I'm gonna scrape the bowl have you ever eaten butter just by itself chef K uh, yeah all right and then we can actually start adding our sugar I'm gonna add it all at once. And that's gonna actually help that cream nice because of the granulated sugar. I'm gonna break that butter down. Now while that's going, I'm gonna keep moving guys. I'm gonna, not gonna stop and just watch this. I got other things to do. So what I have to do now is my eggs. So it calls for four eggs. So the one thing you gotta remember if it says one at a time, we don't crack them all in one bowl. We crack them one at a time. 
You right. can crack them all in one bowl. Egg, egg and egg salad is going to get everywhere. If the shell gets in right and messes it up, then we're digging out all of them. And it doesn't go all over the table. So, I'm going to crack one egg. Nice and easy. And of course, what I do, the big shell in the first thing. All right. This nice and smooth. Scrape it down one more time because I can see on the bottom there is some butter that's not really getting mixed in there. And then we're going to add our egg. You're going to hear that sugar in there. Yeah, you can hear the sugar and the butter mixed together there. Always make sure that locks when you do that. Mix that up again. Then we're gonna add our egg one at a time. Get another egg ready. And then I'm going to actually start doing my flour also while I'm waiting for that to get mixed. So the flour, three and a half cups of flour. So we'll work on that. There's one, two, Scrape it down each time just so that gets cleaned off the sides. And you can see after every egg, it's going to get smoother. And we are on our half. Three and a half. All Yay. right. Flowers for the lady. Now we have a flour, and we're going to add the rest of our stuff. Half a teaspoon of salt. I don't have the shape, I'm just trying to level it out. Jeff, okay, did you hear what I said? No. Oh. I said flour for the lady. Oh, all right. I'm not sure what that means, but oh, Big flour, old. I get you flour, yeah. I got it now. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just gonna stir them together. And our dry ingredients is done. All right, yeah, we're saving them for the next batch when you guys do this, okay? So you guys have your butter nice and softened. Yeah, right, that's gonna happen within 10 minutes. But anyway, we'll have it out. You How rude. All right, another egg. And our last egg. How many eggs? Four. Four. All together or, all, or one at a time? One at a time. One at a time, good. Do you know some people eat raw eggs? What happened? Do you know some people drink raw eggs? Oh God. Good for them. All right, so we're gonna keep moving on here. We got buttermilk, we need a cup of buttermilk. So I have my liquid measure, a cup. And I'm gonna get that poured up. All right, right to the line. And we're done with that. Now I'm gonna kind of rig this uh, extract. I'm gonna actually put vanilla extract with just a little lemon juice in it. Um, Wait, okay, isn't lemon juice basically lemon extract? 
Uh, vanilla. No, I'm saying lemon juice is basically uh, lemon juice. Nah, no, because it's more uh, condensed. It's, you know, it's not really... You're probably going to need a lot of really this to get the flavor through to get it on.